Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is lecture 21 on physical design course on macro placement guidelines in the physical design. In this video, we shall be understanding about blockages that we keep over and around the macros during the floor plan. So without any delay, let's get started. So far we have seen that at least these guidelines should be followed, which are like macro placement should be based on hierarchy. We have seen that. Then we have also seen that macros can be abetted if the pins are in center and if these pins are in the edge then we have to maintain some proper spacing channel spacing calculation also we have seen in the previous video then macro placement should be based on some fly line analysis we have seen what are fly lines then we have also told that macros must be fixed so that tool won't optimize them during the optimization and we should place the macros at the edge of the core so that we get enough room in the core central core for allowing the standard cells to be placed properly then last we have seen now that avoid notches in the core during macro placement now first question that comes to my mind after reading this what is a notch and what why should we avoid it so the term notch refers to the kind of unwanted space that gets created because of improper macro placement here is an example for that so if you see we have placed macros and rows are cut and everything is fine but if you see there is a big chunk of space getting created over here and if you see this kind of space is something which you do not want in the design now the question is why is it unwanted and what problems can it cause nowadays technologies are very much advanced and they are generally below 16 nanometer so below 16 nanometer are your advanced tech nodes and the designs are very timing critical so if your design is timing critical generally tool puts the timing effort as high so if your design has high timing effort at that time the placement algorithm which is used by the tool becomes greedy and because of that greedy algorithm what happens is if you have any timing path which is coming from this standard cell to this uh, macro so let's say if there is any timing path which is coming from this cell to this macro or let's say this cell or this cell to this macro so what happens is this cell a let's say the name of the cell is a it will not sit here what tool will see tool will see that there is a space over here and it this space is enough to place this macro and the timing will be met because of that so it will pull this cell towards this and in a in a effort of doing so what it will do is it will pull entire logic which is associated not only just with this cell with with all the cells which should be sitting here near in this channel because th the tool wants to optimize the timing and because this is called as greedy nature of the algorithm so this is greedy nature of the algorithm that it wants to meet the timing or you can say it wants to optimize the timing and in order to optimize it will not care about notch or congestion it will first try to meet the timing and because of this what happens is in the notch area you will see congestion coming up congestion and what kind of congestion it will be routing congestion hence this greedy algorithm leads to routing congestion routing congestion means it will have some routing issues and you will see many kind of physical and timing drcs coming up and you can see that there will be shorts shorts can be multiple shorts pg related shorts signal related shorts clock related shorts like that so this you do not want in the design and hence you will face issues so you should always avoid the notches there can be many instances when because of irregular shape or non-uniform shape of macros because of that you are seeing notches no matter how hard you try how many iterations you try for a macro placement you will still see some notches because of irregular shape of macros and hence when you cannot avoid you should have some way of getting it away with so there is one option that is called as applying the blockage so if you see a notch which you cannot avoid or you see some space which you want to avoid that time you can apply the blockage in the notch so you have to 
apply the blockage in the notch then how do you do that so there are multiple type of blockages for notches we prefer hard blockage what we will do is we will create one blockage in this area so that tool should not place anything inside it and when you want to do that what will happen is there will be no placement of any kind of standard cell will be happening inside it when there is no standard cell there will be no congestion and hence your placement will be still good so you can have multiple blockages so there are many type of blockages that is available one is hard blockage another is soft blockage so these are very broad categories hard blockage is where you cannot have anything so it will block everything it blocks everything inside it it, it will not allow anything to be placed wherever it is created and there is soft blockage so soft blockage allows some portion of it will be blocked it will not be 100% blockages so you have to specify the blockage percentage let's say if you have provided 60% blockage so your 40% area still will be available percentage of 40 will be available if you provide 60% blockage in the design so let's say if you have blocked this area by 40% 60% then 40% will be still available for placement so there will still be some standard cells going inside it and getting placed but it will not be over congested and hence greedy algorithm will still take care of this this is a constraint kind of thing then there is allow buffer only there is allow underscore then buffer and then underscore only this is one blockage type that is available it will only allow buffers to be placed here for timing optimization or transition fixing cap related fixing for that you can only place the buffers inside it this is also a kind of soft blockage but with some kind of restriction then there is one more blockage that is partial blockage the difference between soft blockage and partial blockage is it will also block partially soft blockage also bar blocks partially like 40 percent or 60 percent but the difference is here you can allow registers to be placed here you cannot allow registers to be placed combo logic will be placed but here only register placement is allowed so register placement will be allowed inside it but not the soft block inside the soft blockage so registers are allowed in this case so the takeaway is wherever you want to block your design and you do not want the tool to place something over there you can avoid placement of standard cells in particular region by applying the blockage there are different kind of blockages and here if you see i have applied one blockage which has made it uniform and it is this lower edge is now in line with this lower edge and if i apply one more blockage like this then what will happen is tool will not place here also and now if you see this horizontal lower edge is becoming uniform and hence tool will see it more uniform shape for the core and that will help more in optimization this explanation of blockage is more tailored for notches and in the floor plan related stuff but we will see blockage related explanation again in further videos that's all for this video please like share and subscribe to the channel and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comment section thank you